What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we are going to take the two top end Nemesis models from Adidas that have just been released, the 19 Plus and the 19.1 and we're going to put them head to head to see if we can help you make a decision on which one of these new boots you want to buy. It's time for the main event of the evening. Are you ready? To do that, we're going to use our regular boot battle system. So, if you don't know what a boot battle is, here's an explainer. In a boot battle, we take two boots and we put them head to head over six rounds. We score these rounds like it's a boxing match. 10 points to the winner of the round, 9 points to the loser. Whichever boot has the most points at the end on the judges scorecard is the winner. Alright then, on with the boot battle. Round 1 So we're going to fire through this and we're going to start with the looks. These are a little bit more spacey and a little bit more crazy. These are a bit more traditional. We're not looking at the colorway here, just the overall looks of the boot. So overall, chrome sole plate, no laces, mid cut. I think it looks cleaner and I'm going to give the win to the 19 plus. Round two. Next up, upper and touch on the ball. They are almost identical in terms of touch. This has a tiny bit more bulk on the top of the boot and that polyurethane stiff coating doesn't come up quite as high. This only has the three layers and the polyurethane coating covers most of the boot. Touch on the ball though is exactly the same, so it has to be a draw. Round three. Traction, sole plates and stud patterns. These have the split sole design that is exactly the same with the brand new torsion system on both. There is absolutely no difference between them apart from this one's shiny, which doesn't affect performance. So, it's another draw. Round four. Value for money, this is one where the boots aren't the same, but it's still fairly straightforward in my eyes. This is 280 euros, this is 220 euros. And personally, I prefer this one because I get the laces and I get better lockdown because of that. It's a no-brainer. The winner is the 19.1. Round six. Okay, fit and comfort. You do get a tension bar, as I've been calling it, which runs across the inside of the midfoot of the 19 plus, and that is there to provide you with your lockdown. It's a bit like a seat belt that pushes you into the boot. And then on the 19.1, you get laces. Nothing wrong with laces. So overall, while Adidas have tried to give you extra lockdown with that tension bar in the 19 plus, it is nowhere near as locked down as you get from the laces in the 19.1. And I also find the 19.1 more comfortable because of it, and you get the extra padding in the heel. This is absolutely no contest. The 19.1 wins. Brutality. And, and, and the winner is... So overall, there is one clear winner for me, and that is the 19.1, mainly because of that better lockdown that you get, and the fact that that just makes the boot more comfortable. If you really want to grab yourself a laceless boot, I would probably say that the Nemesis is still the best laceless model out there. I thought that about the 18+, plus. I still think it about the 19+, plus, even though the 18+, plus lockdown is probably a bit better. But in terms of an actual football boot, if you just want to go out and buy a good, well-performing pair of boots, this is the boot you should go for between these two. So that is everything for today. My aim today was simply just to show you a really quick comparison of those two top end models from Adidas. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, remember to smash that like button. And if you have not subscribed already, please do so. And remember to comment down below, which one of these two boots would you be going for? That is everything from Boot Wizard today. I hope you have a good one and we'll see you soon.